Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7, Judgment and Harvest, September 24, 2008, from the Lord, our God and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, I have already come, and I shall surely return and gather. Behold, I shall also come in full power and great glory. For I tell you, the day of trouble draws near, and the days of many sorrows have come in. Thus from this time forward shall there be great wailing, tears as a river, tears and blood, death and great violence. Fear not, my people, for I am with you to deliver you, your Savior and your friend, the Mighty One of God. Beloved, I have defeated the world. No more shall it rise up against me. For it shall be finished. It shall be completed. It shall be done. In a week and in a day, it shall surely be fulfilled. Behold, the Lord Most High, Mighty God, Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. Yes, I am, is coming quickly. Thus says the Lord to his prophets, Prophets, arise and strike them down, even all of them who stand so tall, so proud. Go forth, for the time of the great humbling has come. Reach out the hand and uplift the lowly and the afflicted. Speak loudly by the power of my voice in you. Blow the trumpet of alarm and war. Go out and proclaim the judgments of the Most High. For I shall reap, I shall surely gather, and I shall judge the earth for all its forsaking of me, says the Lord. Behold, the field is left to you desolate. The streets are filled with darkness. Even amongst the tall grass will you find not even one firefly, for all are taken and snatched away. My treasure, my precious beloved, taken and held fast at my bosom, held tightly in the arms of their Savior, their Maker, their Eternal Father. Thus says the Lord God, I am come, and I shall push at you. Yes, even I shall tear you down, for I am come as the whirlwind. I shall blow as the tempest and rage as the seas flooding the rivers and bursting the inlets. Behold, I shall overflow. Rolling thunder shall be the sound of my voice, and fire shall be its sting. The earth shall quake and heave at my presence. The world shall be turned upside down in my fury, scorching firmament, boiling of the seas. For I shall strike the earth, and all shall tremble. Men's hearts shall fail them for fear, and with great perplexity shall they consider that which is coming to pass before their eyes. Behold, the mighty one of Jacob has come, and he shall be glorified above the hills, set over all mountains. He shall sit high above the heavens and judge the earth. Behold, the whole earth shall bow down and give him glory, even every inhabitant. The face of the whole world shall be consumed in his glory. The brightness of his coming shall engulf every corner, piercing even unto the darkest depths. Yet you, O oh arrogant and proud peoples, evil and deceived generation, shall rebel and raise your fists against me and persecute my body. Therefore come, come out and beat upon your chests. Open your mouths in blasphemies and push at the king. Come forward in your arrogance. Stand up and make yourselves known. Shout with a proud voice, even in concert, in all wickedness, that I may strike you down. Behold, you shall be brought very low, for I cannot be moved. I remain ever steadfast in my purpose, sighing. Yet lay a hand upon my beloved even a single finger in malice, and watch, even in utter amazement, how quickly I stretch out my hand against you in my anger. 
For that kindled, though it be only in part, shall bring down all your tall towers, uproot all your trees, even to the slain of all these giants who stood so tall and unmoving. For you have forsaken the poor, and have held back your hand from the needy. You have oppressed and stolen from those who called out in fear. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I shall bring against you a dark storm. It shall be thick, the blackness of which shall suffocate you, and you shall die where you stand. For even a whisper of the Most High, spoken softly against you, shall bring down all you have built up in your vanities, breaking apart all you have upheld by vain deceits and evil intentions, a great subversion among many faces. Behold, even in an unheard word, I shall speak in quiet to all your foundations, and at my silent rebuke they shall all collapse, falling in upon you. Yes, they shall surely crack and crumble, a grave shaking. In violence this great house shall be thrown down, it shall be torn in pieces, and with a great crash it shall fall, shattering upon the ground. Even those houses called by my name, built up by human hands, shall be brought down. Yes, you, O perverse nation, are to whom I speak, says the Lord God of hosts. To you, O nation not desired, you, O nation under God, my footstool. For you have murdered the innocent. You have torn the flesh of my beloved little ones. Murderers! Evil generation! Who shall save you from the wrath of God, which has come? For it builds, and has come. Behold, that which is stored up shall be poured out on you, O most wicked and perverse generation. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. Men and women of these United States, I have sent to you a prophet, and he shall blow the trumpet and declare your end, even of all the ruin I have purposed against you, which shall surely come upon you for all your forsaking of me, of whom you say is your God. I am no more your God, for my face is turned from you, and my arm is outstretched against you. Blow the trumpet, my watchman, for this word shall become famous, and all those in your nation shall come to hate you with a deep and profound hatred, with a severe burning welling up within them. Yet fear not, Timothy, for thus says the Lord your God, Let it be known, and let it be heard, and come to pass in these last days, regarding the servants of God, the watchmen. These are my prophets, born out of due time, sent to walk to and fro in all the earth, proclaiming my judgments, servants without price, mouthpieces of the Most High God. Therefore, those who come against them shall be cut down. They shall be cut in pieces. For I have a mighty and strong one, and it is he who goes before them. It is he who resides within them, and remains forever their rear guard. And if one, two, or three of a city conspire against them, for my name's sake will I bring their houses to ruin. And if a city together fights against them, or attempts to hide or subvert my spoken word, even that city shall become an example, coming to ruin when nature and the earth rise up against it. Hear me now, O faithless and perverse people, Deceive generation. Bring harm against my anointed, and you shall suffer the quaking of my footsteps. City by city shall be shaken and brought down, wheresoever my messengers have tread, speaking forth my word in power. For I have placed my word in their mouths. Therefore cast not one stone against them, lest I bring down a multitude of hail upon you, according to every rock you have cast in their direction. For this is the due reward for all those who fight against me, says the Lord. The Lord has spoken. Therefore heed my words, and repent, and I may yet have mercy upon you 
before the time when I take back my children and steal away all my beloved lambs. Even from your arms and from the womb they shall be taken. I shall leave you barren and desolate. Thus is the due reward for all those who have forsaken me, for all those who use my name as a cursing, for all those who stood idly by while the little ones were being murdered, day and night without ceasing. Repent, therefore, howl and wail, put on sackcloth, cover yourselves in ashes, for the day of the Lord has come. Behold, it is very near, even ten days of sorrow, and seven. Thus says the Lord, the Mighty One of Jacob, Yet I shall not make a total end. I will gather and save the elect, all those who abide in my body, even all those who yet remain in their innocence. For the sake of the second harvest, I will not make a total end. For many are called, yet few are chosen. And of those who remain, these shall be refined by fire, and many shall be brought forth out of great tribulation, having run gallantly for my name. And they shall rest, until all is completed, until the whole world is put into subjection to the king. My enemies made my footstool, when all things are cleansed by fire. I shall judge, and I shall surely condemn, and that written shall be done. Behold, the earth is once again made still, all things restored. A new day, the seventh, a Sabbath day in the Lord, lasting one thousand years. Rest, peace, all tears wiped away. The kingdom of the Son, which shall endure forever. Amen and Amen.